To understand Japanese style requires an open mind, but it also requires that you understand a few concepts before you dive headfirst into Japanese brands, because that's not what it's all about. For the Japanese, brands don't necessarily make the look, the pieces do. So today, we're gonna break down the elements of Japanese street style so you can go even further into the styles that you already do, because that's what it's all about. I'm your boy, Reggie Casual. Let's get it. Now, first off, it's important to understand that Japanese street style isn't one particular style. It can derive from any particular subculture and therefore one can't be shown a picture that screams Japanese street fashion. There's literally too many to count. But what's more important is the approach, the philosophy, if you will. And we're gonna break it down in three distinct parts. That is silhouette, consistency, and layering. Starting off with silhouette, if you're going to take this plunge, you got to be willing to master or become adept at the art of Japanese shape. While street style in Japan is heavily influenced by the West, what makes Japan so colorful is their ability to combine Western concepts and traditional Japanese culture. One look at the work of Yoji Yamamoto or the brand Capital, or even Miharu Yasuhiro, and you can see how traditional Western pieces become reimagined in Japan. So a typical pant might be widened or cropped. The shirt could be lengthened or made boxier or both. Cardigans could be made without buttons to look more like kimono or more specifically nagaki while maintaining the same fabric as traditional cardigans. Upon closer inspection, all this variety leads to more distinct layering options. Take a side-by-side -side comparison with traditional Japanese fashion and you can instantly see the influences. So in practice, Japanese silhouette is not necessarily trying something entirely Japanese, it's not the point, but taking what you already do and applying a Japanese-ness to it, in most cases. That can come in an oversized hoodie, wider cropped pants, more drapey options, focusing on texture, whatever it is. But this isn't always the case because adopting Japanese street style means you have to be okay with having a consistent and intentional wardrobe, which is point number two. Nearly every single piece you acquire should be an exploration of your personal style, which is based on your interests and lifestyle, but more on that later. If there is one thing that Japanese do really well, it's curating pieces. It doesn't have to be new, popular, or even mainstream. The pieces take precedence over brands in nearly every situation. This rabbit hole goes so deep that brands themselves are forced to extract everything out of their themes because Japanese style demands it. Seeing an all fleece oversized hoodie isn't atypical, or a sashiko patchwork workwear denim for that matter, or even wide leg tapered linen pants. It's all fair game and it's pretty damn crazy. But how do you make your wardrobe a fluid, consistent powerhouse? Well, you have to commit to a lifestyle, which is point number three. And this is the hardest part for Westerners because culturally, we have several identities when it comes to lifestyle. We can be b-ball loving video game playing diehard fans of hip hop and anime, anime, and no one would even blink. Japanese can be the same, but one of those interests usually takes precedence over all the others by a large margin. And Japanese fashion and lifestyle go hand in hand. So if you're someone who likes hip hop, it can inform your entire world view in fashion. Or if someone likes punk, it might be everything that they do. Just look at the work of Jun Takahashi and Rei Kabakubo. They've remained steadfast behind the ideas of punk, whether it be in music or fashion. And as a result, have some of the most popular brands in Japan in that area. So what does that mean? While Westerners are encouraged to mature and change, Japanese are encouraged to mature and refine. So in order to do Japanese style, you have to adopt this way of thinking to maximize Japanese style to some degree. So how do you do it? Well, you gotta pick a lifestyle and then you gotta refine it. And then you have to find ways to take other influences outside of that lifestyle and apply it. It's not easy and it's not for everyone, but it is highly rewarding as it forces you to be creative by limiting your scope. But the possibilities are endless because everything comes into play. Cut, fabric, texture, layers, and the past all converge and your aptitude increases as a result. Which is the reason why adopting this part of Japanese street style is the hardest because it takes time. But eventually you should be able to think 
the pieces you need instead of blindly shopping or over relying on brands. However, you shouldn't take up Japanese street style all the way if you like being more fashion forward than consistent, or if you like having several styles in your wardrobe. Japanese style is extremely committed and you have to be committed to go that deep into it. But that being said, how about some brands that illustrate this? For Japanese silhouette and layering, Ato is fantastic. It's a little smaller, but it's like a more contemporary Yoji Yamamoto. And also check out Kazuyuki Kumagai, which takes a more minimal approach, but explores with interesting cut and shape. Consistent brands like Double Taps and Neighborhood are easy choices for the respective lifestyle influences, but you may also like how glam and mind showcase in between subculture genres with punk grunge and punk hip hop respectively. Brands that are highly intense and take on all three elements like the Viridian really explore texture along with silhouette experimentation. And Takuhiro Miyashita the Soloist and Capital can both be considered in that category as well. And that's just a few. But now that you're equipped with this knowledge, you can use it to inform or enhance what you already do now, because that's the point. So go out there and get into some new stuff. Get exposed, make your wardrobe personal and an extension of your interest and lifestyle and go deeper into that, if that's what you wanna do. Let us know what you think, share some of your tips or other labels that you have in mind. Give a thumbs up if you liked this video, follow on Instagram for the latest out of Japan, but most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info on international street fashion and culture. From Tokyo, it's your boy, and keep it casual. I'll see you guys in a minute.